The 415ers podcast on the Odyssey Sports Podcast Network with 95.7 The Game. Mark Grandy is on social at Mark Grandy. Mark with a C, Grandy with an I. I'm on social at egiddings10. Follow us at 415ers. Download, rate, subscribe. Five stars are appreciated. Okay, well, and and when I meant a quarterback away, I meant a competent quarterback. Like, yeah. again, Brock Purdy, is he was fantastic, but no one is throwing him all of a sudden into the MVP race or saying that he's better than... Uh, Patrick Mahomes, like people were saying about Joe Burrow, which I couldn't believe. So, all right. And and I also think, too, <laughs> maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist. Uh-oh. But with Tom Brady, I saw the video, Mark. I listened to him get choked up. Oh, I saw maybe even a, a tear shed on my on what looked like Miami Beach. Uh, I, I'm going to be wait. I'm going to be waiting and seeing on that. And the reason being is because he did it last year. Like, I know that he also referenced his emotional essay and letter that he sent last season and then six weeks later returned to sender and then said, I'm playing football again this year. But I also think that if there is an opportunity for Tom Brady to win a Super Bowl in San Francisco, the competitor in him might be willing to give it one more go. And that, again, is all predicated on Brock Purdy not being available, in my opinion, for the entirety of the season. So there's a fine kind of window, a threat, a needle that needs to be threaded there. But I'm sorry, Mark. Like, I I can't take the man at his word when it comes to retiring from football. Uh, I disagree with you. He's I think he's done. Uh, Okay. I mean, I he he could be. I I'm just simply going to wait until the beginning of next season to officially say that he's done. Okay, fair enough. I, I think if. If Tom, or pardon me, if Brock Purdy was Tommy John surgery away from Tom Brady becoming the next Niners quarterback, he would have waited. Because regardless of what the decision is for Brock Purdy, regardless of what the outcome is, it will come relatively soon. Um, If he's going to need surgery, obviously, the earlier you do it, the better. Because then the earlier you begin your rehab and the earlier you can return to play. Uh, so I would expect the Brock Purdy decision, whether it is good news or bad news, to come relatively soon. And if Tom Brady in the back of his mind was saying, well, let me keep an eye on what's going on in Santa Clara, I think maybe he would have waited for this announcement until he had that decision. And I, I do think Tom Brady, Evan, is is a little too smart to keep playing this game, the retire, unretire game that Brett Favre played a handful of times. I, I do think Tom Brady uh, is too smart for that. And plus, he already has his next incredibly high, uh, high-paying high job lined up. Uh, he'll probably kick Greg Olson out of the number one analyst chair for Fox, and, and he'll be on Fox broadcast next season, which will pay him an insane amount of money. So I think he's perfectly fine in terms of his, his finances moving forward. He doesn't need football for that. Um, but I disagree. I think he's done. I mean, he even said... I think trying to dispel some of these rumors, he even said on his his uh, post that he, he he tweeted out was I'm retired for good. Um, I think he's done, but you know I guess at this point nothing would surprise me considering we've we have uh, lived through the most insane year at the Niners quarterback position. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised by anything, including a second Tom Brady unretirement. But at this point, I think he's done. Yeah, I could be. I'm 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 waiting to see on everything that Tom Brady says, honestly, at this <laughs> point. Um I also look, he is also I think if he did somehow play this season, he would also still have seven years left on that broadcasting deal uh, that you're talking about, <laughs> since he signed a ten year deal that kicks in literally whenever he decides, <laughs> which is pretty incredible. Um but yeah, I mean, look, it at face value, it's the greatest quarterback retiring from the history of football and that is undoubted mark there are some players at certain positions that are undisputably the greatest to ever do it like when you talk about running backs jim brown in my opinion like i don't know if there's another conversation you can have for the greatest running back ever uh wide receiver jerry rice at san francisco i don't know if you can make a case for anybody else being the greatest wide receiver um you know, the quarterback is is Tom Brady, and, and the margin isn't particularly close at this point. I think the only player that has a chance to catch him would be Patrick Mahomes, and he has a chance to do that in a couple of Sundays. But, you know, looking around 
sports, like there aren't too many of those. Um, you know, in, in tennis, could be Novak Djokovic. Um, you know, on the women's side, maybe Serena Williams. Like, you know, golf. If you want to say Tiger Woods, uh, like Tom Brady is the greatest to ever do it at his position. I don't know if I'll say the greatest athlete ever, but it, it's it's really the end of an era and one also that puts a end or a close on the the old guard of quarterbacks. When we think about the Mannings, when we think about the Roethlisberger's, the Breezes. Um, Brady had been in the middle of all of that. And after 23 years, it's pretty wild to think that he won't be playing football next season. Again, I'm TBD on it, but if he does not play football next season or the rest, I I don't know for the rest of his life, um, (laughs) Mark, it's, it's kind of weird to think about football, not having Tom Brady in it. Oh yeah. It's the end of an era. I mean, I I'm young enough to not really know the NFL without Tom Brady, uh, I mean, by the time he was starting for the Patriots, uh, I mean, I was still a young kid and, and don't really remember watching football before that. So my entire life has been Tom Brady in the NFL. And for the vast majority of my life, it's been him dominating the NFL. So this is 100 percent the end of an era. Football will not be the same. It'll be strange, you know, next September when this thing starts up again and not seeing Tom Brady out on the field, unless, of course, uh, you and your conspiracy theories are, are right, and and he does return. But uh, yeah, it's it's the end of an era. He's the greatest quarterback of all time. I know that uh, Niner fans say that kind of begrudgingly because the other up there is Joe Montana. Uh, but I think most Niner fans, Evan, have finally ceded that spot to Tom Brady. Um, and Niner fans are proud and, and they love Joe Montana. So it, it, it takes a lot for, for a Niner fan to, to say that. And just about every Niner fan is willing to say that now. So Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. It's a very easy statement to make at this point. And what's the uh, case against him? Like, I, I, I am curious. I feel like you have more of a pulse on why Niner fans might believe that Joe Montana would be better. than. Oh, Tom Brady. I don't, I don't know if there's like actual statistical evidence that they, they go down. It's just, Oh, he's Joe Montana. You know, he won five Super Bowl or four Super Bowls. He, yeah, like he he didn't lose in the Super Bowl. Is that is that the only? I think that's probably a big one. Five for five in the Super Bowl, or four for four in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Um, gotcha. But I don't know. I think it's just you know Niner fans are proud and and incredibly attached to that era of Niners football. And why wouldn't you be? Uh, it's just hard for them to to admit it, whether or not it's it's obvious or not. It, it's hard to admit it and. Given that most Niner fans do, I think it says a lot about Tom Brady and, and what he accomplished. So an incredible career. If this is indeed the end, which I think it is, congratulations, Tom, on a Hall of Fame career. And uh, football will not be the same without you, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I'm always curious when a great retires from the game, you know, we, we start to look back at like, when did he become the greatest? I, I feel like if there is a game to point to it, probably is the 28-3 comeback in the 2017 Super Bowl. Like, that that might be yeah. the game where you, you start to say, I mean, I, I forget which Super Bowl that was. I think it was, was that a sixth? Um, I mean, that that's kind of the, the inflection point for me where I think it just became un, unreasonable to try and argue against him. But yeah, that's just me. Um, All right, so as it affects the 49ers, Mark, that is... As of right now, one option off of the table when it comes to the offseason, the quarterbacks that the 49ers could pursue should they choose to do so. So the next question becomes, well, one, do they need a quarterback? And I, I don't know about you, Mark, but when it, when it comes to Brock Purdy's elbow, there's just something, it's not fishy, and, and maybe I'm just a glass half empty kind of cat, but... I, I, to me, when I hear searching for second opinions, I hear a guy that got news that he didn't like or didn't want and is going to try and do everything he can or talk to different surgeons, doctors to find the option that best suits him in the moment. Now, that's not to say that the original diagnosis is, hey, go get Tommy John. And he's saying, well, I'm going to go look for some, someone to repair. But. I think that even if there's a situation where only 5% of doctors, professionals, 
diagnosed the elbow as ne as needing reconstructive surgery, but 95% of the rest say you should just get it repaired. That's all you need. You'll be back in six months. Boom. I have a hard time with that 5% because that 5% could be something that potentially not could just derail your season this next year, but could derail your career. And, and again, maybe I'm erring on the side of caution, but I think even if there's a sliver of a chance of the elbow being in peril down the line because you chose not to get a full year surgery, I, I, I personally think that you'd be doing yourself as an athlete trying to make a career out of yourself a disservice by not choosing to get it. I understand what you're saying, uh, and I won't dismiss it as impossible. I think it certainly is. I, I don't – obviously, I'm not a doctor. I don't know all the specifics of, of that elbow uh, and, and, you know, whether or not if, if you get a total reconstruction or avoid the reconstruction, if that could have effects in the future. However, I will say I would not get too worried about someone seeking second opinions. This is normal. This is what athletes do. Um any surgery, whether or not it's Tommy John, which is the full reconstruction, or just repair, which is the six-month timeline, all surgery is bad news. You want to avoid surgery at any cost, regardless of what the surgery is. So I think, one, I understand what you're saying, but, but two, getting second opinions, not a big deal, nothing to really be too worried about. It's, uh, you know, what's the final decision? That's always what matters. And then on top of that, um, it is the fact that you want to avoid surgery at any cost. I think there's a very real possibility that the Niners who have recommended, the Niners doctors have recommended he gets the UCL repair surgery, which is the six-month timeline. He'll be able to throw in about three months, be ready to play in six months. There's a very real possibility that Brock Purdy and his camp want to avoid that at all costs. They want to hold out hope. Is there a possibility that we do not need surgery? We're going to get as many opinions as we possibly can on this elbow before committing to a six-month rehab process. I think that's more what this is about. I understand what you're saying, and I, I again, I'm not going to dismiss it because I'm sure something like that is possible, and that, that is probably conversations that they're having. But again, you said 5% as an estimate. I would suggest or I would guess myself uh, that the latter, what I'm talking about is probably way more likely, but there is probably that fear in the back of their mind as well. What might set him up for long-term success? That is certainly a part of this as well, as opposed to just getting back as soon as they possibly can. Uh, but I'm sure they just want to avoid surgery, any kind of surgery, regardless of the timeline to recover at all costs.